Hey guys, it's Jordan. So I am coming at you today with a little bit of a get ready with me. Do my makeup and also this hair as well. Right, okay, so before we get started, I want to share with you guys this fashion app that I have been freaking obsessed with. I'm actually working with them on this part of the video, which is so exciting. And I thought while I'm showing you an outfit, I may as well tell you all about it. Basically, I have been listening to you guys. I've been scrolling through all of my YouTube comments and the comments on my Instagram photos. And I've been seeing that you find it hard to actually find the items of clothing that I'm wearing. On Instagram, I can tag the brand and you can see where it's from, but I can't give you guys direct links sometimes, which is really annoying. But this app that I'm about to show you, solves all that. It is called 21 Buttons. So this is the app here and then here is my little profile. So if I scroll down you can see a few outfit pictures that I have posted. Some of them you might recognize from my Instagram but there is a cheeky little one on there that I haven't posted yet so you go check it out. If you click on a picture I've actually set up all these dots on the photo and if you click on one it actually shows you a link where you can go and get the item. So you can actually click on a photo, say you like the jumper dress that I'm wearing, the little pink circle I've linked up there so click on that dot. As you can see, it shows you the item, the price, where you can get it. Click down here to click buy on web. And as you can see, it takes you straight to the jumper dress. Like how fab is that? Instead of you guys literally searching for hours trying to find this bit of clothing, you can literally do it on here. And of course this outfit will be on there, so check that out. I mean, if you have ever been interested in the clothes that I wear, make sure you follow me on 21 Buttons. I will leave my profile right here. It is just John Lipskin, but yeah, check out 21 Buttons. It has literally made the search in life so much easier. But yeah, without further ado, I'm going to get into this little chatty get ready with me. I hope you guys enjoy and let's go. Okay, so let's put my face on. I was actually thinking about maybe doing something, you know, with a little bit of colour, a little bit more creative, but then keeping it real, would I really use colour on a night out or would I kind of stick to what I know? You feel me? I don't really know what I'm doing, to be honest. I mean, mm. typically on a night out, I love to do a smoky eye. I think it goes with like everything. I'm just feeling something intense and just like, bam. Let's do this, just gonna start by, you know, getting that out of the way. I'm gonna do my eyes first because I'm planning on using like browns and blacks. And girl, I can already see that fallout. Oh yeah, also, obviously this is a get ready with me rather than a tutorial. So if I just hit myself. Yeah, just like bear with me if I forget to say some things, but um, I will of course leave everything linked in the description box got your back. I'm just going to set this in place with some translucent powder. Why am I going so quick? I'm like, <laughs> oh my God. am I okay? I literally just caught a glimpse of myself in the viewfinder like that. That's not cute. Right, so eyeshadow. I was actually going to use the ABH Subculture palette, the most controversial freaking eyeshadow palette. The colours are so fab. I just don't think they're what I had in mind for this video. So come back to this little guy in another video. But this eyeshadow palette, ooh, like this bottom row, that is a smoky eye, all right. It's the MDK Naked Ultimate Basics palette. Like, I love this little guy. Honestly, this ish has never let me down. I think I'm just gonna mix these two together for, you know, that transition. Blend these into the crease. Oh, guys, I can already tell this makeup look. It's gonna be an eye maker. You're just gonna need to keep blending and blending and blending. So, I mean, I kind of, oh, look at that pigment though. Blimey. So I do kind of have a vision of how I want this to look. But I mean, this is me, so I could F it up. But you know what? We think positive. I can do this. We got this. We got this. Oh yeah, also don't mind the fact that I like take my eyeshadow like all the way down here, like to Germany. I just prefer it because I get to like snatch the edge. I'm now going to take a dark brown coal pencil. This one's a Lottie London one. <clears throat> this is the part, boys and girls, where we've got to be brave. We've got to be brave. Because um, I'm basically going to be colouring in my lid with this pencil. Only thing I will say is just make sure your pencil is like blendable, otherwise you're gonna be in a sticky situation, literally. I need my sharpener like this. Look at that, look at that little stump. And there goes my eyeshadow palette. Oh my God, after all that searching, it was literally on top. Wow, wow. <laughs> okay, so I know that looks really messy right now, but I'll fix it. I'm gonna take the brown and the black and just set that in place and then start buffing the colour out. I had to just do the action like. And now I'm just gonna start buffing. I do little circles and then I go like back and forth. Little circles back and forth. I think that's the easiest way to blend it out. Right, I think I can move on to the other eye now. What do we think? Can I? Mm -hmm. I'm trying to think if there's anything to like tell you guys, but honestly, I'm kind of boring. <laughs> Actually, no. I've got some pretty exciting things coming up. Some of it I can't really like talk about. Actually, you know what? I just wanna say to you guys, 
thank you so much for all your love and support it literally blows my mind it's so like i just can't to think as well how much i've grown as a person since doing youtube like if you look back at my first video I mean, don't do that because it's gross, but <laughs> the fact that you guys have even like allowed me to do this and then have supported me throughout the whole journey, like to think how I used to feel and where I've come from and where I am now. Okay, I can't talk about it too much because I will get emotional. But yeah, I just wanted to take the opportunity to thank you guys so, so much. Okay, back to the makeup. <laughs> Bloody hell, that went from zero to deep real quick. Like, anyway, let's just clean up these edges and then any fallout. That is so freaking satisfying. I think it is time to put on some lashes. These iconic ones at the moment have been my fave. They're in the style Fierce, so you know I'm about to put these on my eyeballs. I was just like, where's everyone then? It's on there. Apply a little bit of mascara. That was a close one. Genuinely just nearly poked my entire eyeball out of its socket. Duo lash glue. I literally think I say this in every video, but this is the best. Like, it honestly, it's just the best. Why does eyelash glue always smell like fish? Can somebody tell me? Right, you know what? I'm gonna stick on these lashes and then I'll be back. Right, your girl's back and the lashes are on. Gonna prime my skin now with the Professional Matte Rescue Primer. Literally looks like toothpaste, but it does the job nicely. So now that my face is feeling nice and tacky, I really, really wanna try out this Kiko foundation. This is part of their full collection. This is new. It's in this cute little glass jar. Okay. That looks like it's gonna be beautiful on the skin. This is the color 03 Warm Beige. I think it might be a little bit too light, but I'll make it work. Just gonna put a little bit here. Mm, that is definitely gonna be a little bit too light. What to do, what to do. Hmm. You know what, I think I'm gonna add some of my Makeup Forever foundation stick, but first I'm just gonna blend this out on its own to see what the foundation's actually like. Oh my. Oh, that is so nice minus the shade that looks so nice on the skin i definitely need this in a darker color but i'm gonna do the rest of my face now ding, ding. this sponge as well by the way is the body shop one and at first i was like god dang that's hard like it's not as soft as a beauty blender but credit where credit's due this is blending out my foundation mind the brow see this is the only thing about doing your eyebrows before Concealer is the Makeup Forever HD one. My colour, by the way, is in Y31. I've seen some of you asking, so yeah, Y31. I go hair with the concealer, like I am not shy. Oh yes, like how perfect does that point of the sponge fit in there? Gonna do a set underneath my eyes with the Too Faced Born This Way Loose. Powder. You know what, let's do a bit of bakage. Let's do some baking. I kind of like to bake on a night out because I think it actually helps with controlling my oils a little bit because I am an oily mess, let me tell you. An oily mess. And then just set the rest of my face while the powder is just doing its thing. I'm gonna put on a bit of Benefit Hula. I haven't used this little guy in so freaking long. So I thought, why not? Let's whip him out. I normally use my Makeup Forever one or my Body Shop one. And then just where I use them so much, honestly, I forget I have other bronzers. <laughs> Oops. My bake can just come off now. See ya. Should I put on a blush? Yeah. This is Infatuation from Makeup Geek. I just feel like it's kind of neutral, so it won't be too much. Yeah, just a little something something. Highlight, I'm actually gonna use the Primark PS Bronze Highlight and Glow Palette. I'm gonna mix this one and this one. This palette is four pounds and... Primark, man. They did this, they did this. Like, I'm sorry, but four pounds. Give me 20. Right, to finish up underneath our eyes, I'm gonna take that same AM to PEM pencil that we use under our eyes. Pop it in my waterline. I've never used this in the waterline, but holy crap, can you see that? That literally just glided on. But in London, this AM to PM pencil is so good. People getting down there, that's right. AM to PM. I honestly thought Christina was in the room then. I sounded just like her. <laughs> can I even keep that in? I don't even know, YouTube might copyright me. <laughs> Okay. I'm just gonna like mix all three colors, like orange, brown, black, just do a little combo. Just 
just gonna create some smokiness up in here. I'm actually gonna bring it down kind of low. Drop it down low, low, low. Cool, man. I'm gonna add a little touch of mascara. So for lips, I actually really want to try out one of these Hourglass lipsticks. So these are their new ones. They're meant to be refillable lipsticks. So this here is meant to be like the actual lipstick holder. And then these are the colors that you put into here. I've never done this, so let's just hope I don't break something. So that just comes off. And then I think I'm going to go for this color here. It's a nude and it's called I Wish. Because I wish I didn't break anything. I guess you just pop that off and then just click this into there and you have your lippy. That is so freaking cool. Oh. Just gonna line our lips first. Right, let's give this a little go. Oh. That color is so freaking pretty. These are just like gliding on, can you see this? I'm just gonna take some of my Body Shop Instamat over the top just to make it completely wet. Then to finish up a little bit of my Too Faced Hangover 3 in 1 setting spray and primer. Oh, let that dry because my face right now is literally wet. Right, so my makeup is done. I now just need to do something with. My hair. I either just like curl my hair or I will just straighten it and have it in some sort of like sleek hairstyle. So I'm gonna straighten it quickly with my GHDs and then I'll show you guys the hairstyle that I'm gonna go for. Yeah, right, so I am back and my hair is actually straight. I didn't show you guys me straightening my hair because I feel like that would be kind of tedious to watch, you know? But for the hairstyle, I think I'm gonna do like a low sleek bun kind of situation. With a middle part, I'm just gonna tuck this behind my ears. Brush and some hairspray, gonna smooth down my little baby kiss. I have so many little flyaways, I'm just like, get down. Then I'm just gonna gather all my hair at the back and put it in a little pony. And for the bun, I'm just gonna lightly twist the ponytail and then just start wrapping it around into a little bun. And then we're basically just gonna a bobby pin the absolute crap out of it. And then I just like to go in and just pull at it slightly to make it a little bit bigger. You don't obviously have to do this, I just like my bun to be big. This is it from the back. Yeah, that is how I do the little low bun. So that is it for this casual just like get ready with me. Really, I love these kind of videos. I love just sitting down, chatting, it's just super chilled. Also, don't forget to check out my 21 Buttons profile page. It literally is the easiest way to find out and get pieces of clothing that I wear, so check that out. But yeah, if you did enjoy this video, don't forget to smash that thumbs up button because it lets me know that you guys like these videos and I can keep making them. And if you do, maybe, just maybe. Want to see a little bit more of me? Don't forget to hit subscribe before you go. Thank you so, so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. And thank you so much for your support and your love and just you. Thank you. I love you guys so, so much. And I will see you all in my next one. Bye.